name is Anzi. Once again, you're welcome to another video right in this channel. And of course, we'll be discussing the significant crackdown on the illicit trade in counterfeit goods, which actually happened in Johannesburg here in South Africa. We'll be talking about that in this video. So please do all to stick right there, watch to the end. Do not forget to subscribe and do turn on the bell notification button so you can be the first to get notified when next we drop a new video. Well, in a joint operation, Operation led by the South African Police Service that the SAPs counterfeit items worth 13 million rands were seized and of course five undocumented suspects were also apprehended. While well, this successful operation highlights the dedication and coordination of law enforcement agencies in combating the ever-growing challenge of counterfeit goods. Well, let's actually get into the real issue. Well, Counterfeit goods have become a pressing issue in South Africa. That's something that you guys can't even deny, resulting in substantial economic losses for the country. Well, by evading taxes and taking away revenue from legitimate businesses, the illicit trade in counterfeit goods has created a challenging environment. And of course, recognizing this, the SAPs along with other entities such as the South African Review Services, that's the SAS, uh, not just that, but also have brand protectors and security companies, they've actually decided to take action. And if you're out there, you're planning to like get yourself some counterfeit goods, maybe because you want to evade taxes or maybe sell them cheaper or maybe have a cheap uh, supplier or something like that, then just be sure that SAPs and of course the SAS will always come back for you. Uh, the joint operation, which was actually involving various units of the SAPs, SAS officials, uh, brand protectors, and of course, uh, security companies, focused on three identi identified addresses in Johannesburg's central business district, that's the CBD. Well, this collaborative effort actually aimed to dismantle the networks responsible for manufacturing and distributing counterfeit goods. The operation turned out to be a resounding success, resulting in the seizure of over 18,000 counterfeit items. This is quite huge, I mean, compared to the fact that this is what has been neglected for the past couple of years. I mean, if you're out there and maybe you were actually among the suspects, maybe it's just going to be game over for you. During the operation, law enforcement agencies discovered a clandestine manufacturing plant and storage facility. While well, this hidden location served as a hub for producing and distributing counterfeit goods to shops, in and around Johannesburg. The authorities confiscated a wide range of counterfeit items, including clothing, apparels, shoes, bags, caps, and watches. Additionally, they also found essential equipment used in the manufacturing process, such as computer hard drives, silk screening machines, and laser cutting machines. While the illicit trade in counterfeit goods has had severe consequences for South Africa's economy. By avoiding taxes and diverting revenue from legitimate businesses, the country suffers significant financial losses. While well, this operation sends a clear message that law enforcement agencies, in collaboration with other stakeholders, are committed to safeguarding the economy and creating a more secure environment for businesses to thrive. So if you're out there and you're a businessman and you've been complaining that for the past couple of God knows how many years you've been unable to make yourself from some good profit, maybe because people don't get original things anymore and they would rather go to counterfeit goods or products, maybe because they are way cheaper, then of course you are supposed to be excited because SAPs, SARS and other entities here in South Africa are working hand in glove to actually make your your dream to actually get your business bigger come to come to pass well as a result of this successful operation five undocumented suspects were arrested well these individuals played a significant role in the production and distribution of these counterfeit goods so information has it that they will actually face legal proceedings and of course they are expected to appear before the johannesburg magistrate's court in the coming days. Well, the apprehension of these suspects demonstrates the commitment of law enforcement agencies to bring those involved in the illicit trade to justice. I mean, it's but normal that when these type of things are always being talked about, 
you must in one way or another get to hear about illegal foreigners and to an extent when we south africans say we don't want foreigners maybe they get to feel like we're being xenophobic or maybe we don't want them around or we're trying to chase them i mean if you should go to another person's country and of course you somehow bring nuisance to them or you're somehow a liability or you're causing trouble and havoc then believe me there is no way you're going to find refuge or find solace in that particular place. Well, in conclusion, the recent crackdown on counterfeit goods in Johannesburg serves as a powerful example of the collaborative efforts made by law enforcement agencies, government entities, and brand protectors to combat this pervasive issue. While the seizure of counterfeit items worth over 13 million rands, and of course the arrest of five suspects highlights the dedication and coordination required to tackle the challenges posed by counterfeit goods effectively. While by taking decisive action, the authorities aim to create a more secure economic environment that protects legitimate businesses and curtails the illicit trade in counterfeit goods. So if you're out there and you're somehow running a legitimate business, well, I think it's actually a very good news for you because you're going to keep having your returns. I mean, considering the fact that all those vendors of uh, counterfeit goods are actually off the market. I mean, especially in the city of Johannesburg. I mean, it's still to actually extend to other cities, Pretoria and the rest. I feel like for a start, it's actually a very great thing to know that the government actually has all these people in mind well i don't know about you guys but i think uh, the president has to take major actions against all these illegal foreigners because come to think of it i mean these guys come into the country and of course what they do is that they somehow make mess of everything get into illegal businesses if they are not smuggling drugs then of course they are coming up with counterfeit goods that somehow is bent on reducing the economy of south africa and at the end of the day we are going to be the ones to suffer because they could always run back to their countries when things get sour uh, but we have just south africa to run back to so it's just to make you understand that you are in one way or another somehow expected to help the government and of course these authorities to like let's say reduce the spread of these counterfeit goods or maybe just stop it completely so if you're out there and you're somehow uh, let's say pissed off maybe you should help the government by giving them information or let's say cooperating with them i mean this is just a way to like reduce the spread of counterfeit goods and stop these illegal foreigners or foreigners in general uh, from somehow making more mess of south africa than the way it is already so please leave your thoughts in the comment section about anything you feel or anything you have to say regarding this particular video and please don't forget to subscribe and do turn on the bell notification button so you could be notified when next we drop a new clip well stay tuned and of course stay glued